this channel is all about turning potential trash into beautiful, useful items. Today's project, I'm going to show you how to take this eco brick and turn it into this beautiful marble looking block that you can create anything that your imagination desires. Now, I'm currently working on a project that I mentioned in my last video, and I'll talk about that a little later. But for now, if you stick with me, um, I'll teach you how to look, make this look marbleized. And also, um, talk a little bit about how you can be a hero. A hero like George Costanza. You're probably saying to yourself, well, George Costanza doesn't really seem like a hero. <laughs> if you ever watched Seinfeld. Um, but there's a one episode in which he was portrayed as a certain type of hero. So we'll talk about that a little later in the video. So thanks for tuning in and I hope you enjoy this project and let's get started right away. So I'm not going to tell you the materials right off, I'm just going to list them at the bottom of the video that you're going to need for this um, to save time. But what I'll show you what I've done is I've started by, um, this was a prune juice bottle and this was a Califia Farms almond bottle and this was a vinegar bottle and I took the lid off the top part of the vinegar bottle cut the bottom and top off and I wrapped it around and hot glued it. I also hot glued the top and the bottom together inside as you can see here close up and just wrap that around like that. Okay so that's how we got our eco block to start with and in my last video if you haven't seen it I demonstrate how to make an actual eco brick. And there's also a link that somebody put as a comment below that video that I appreciate that talks about more technically the way that you can make um, eco bricks because I just started out so I didn't even know um, the correct way. Apparently there's more to know about it than what I said in my last video. So anyway, moving right along, um, as you can see here, this is marble part here and then this is more like a granite. And what I did this part for was to cover up actually um, the seam where the vinegar bottle meets together. Um, I took some Mod Podge and I painted it over the vinegar bottle. And then I took the sand and I sprinkled it all over and made it cover it, let it dry, and did that twice so that it would give it a nice sandy looking finish. And then I took this spray paint and I painted the whole structure with this Krylon hammered look um, paint. Now, um, okay, so to begin to marbleize this, what I've done is I've used like an oxide color paint and put it in this um, container, excuse me, and I've added some of this. This is Artist Loft's iridescent medium. And it's nice because it has sort of a light sheen to it and it's, it's just good to mix in with paints and then I add a little water to thin out the paint. So what I'm going to do is um, I just want to lightly put a coat of this brown, well I should say oxide, and just kind of smear it on here in a thin coat to give it an orangey kind of look all around. And I'm also going to mix it with yellow to um, give it a more, you know, more in-depth multicolor look. Okay, so now that we have the orange on there, I'm going to go ahead and add this yellow that I also have uh, mixed up in. I'll put the colors below um, the video in case anybody is interested in doing this project or a similar one that you can use this same concept that I'm going to show you on how to make it look marbleized. Okay, so what we're doing here is mixing the two right over the, the gray base that I've created with that other paint and just putting it on here like this. Now, I mentioned the George Costanza thing, so I'll go ahead and talk about that a little bit. Um, if you remember the episode where George pretended to be a marine biologist because he was trying to impress his girlfriend, and so he saved a whale by taking a golf ball out of the whale's um, water spout. So anyway, <laughs> while, this, while this dries, I'm going to read you a few uh, statistics that I came across. And it's only going to take a minute. I'm not going to let it completely dry. But 
as far as how polluted the ocean really is and why this is so important and how you can be a hero like George was that day. So just real quickly, it says between, um, and the source is the journal of science and it was published in 2015. It says between 4.8 and 12.7 million tons of plastic enter the ocean each year. So that was back in 2015 that the journal of science said that. Now in addition, um, there's a quote from a marine, marine biologist, Lucy Woodall, and she says that in addition to uh, the marine life, you know, ingesting and being entangled with plastics in the ocean, uh, the plastic has an ability to carry pathogenic microbes across the ocean and impact um, things along the way. So. In other words, even on a microbial, it, the microbes cling to this plastic and it causes all kinds of other problems that we don't even see. Um, and it also carries creatures to different areas where they're not really supposed to be located. All right, so all that, let's get back to the project. But what I was going to say is, so when you recycle, you're kind of um, <clears throat> saving the ocean from more pollution and saving animals like George did that day uh, because they really are affected by it and we're affected by it too because we eat the fish and the things that come from the sea um, and what I'm doing here is I have a wet cloth and I'm just dabbing and letting some of the gray shine back through so I'm just dabbing it off a little bit here a little bit there okay and so if we each just do a little bit, um, it, it could save an animal's life. And we'll be eating less plastic. <laughs> so, all right. So I think that's probably dabbed good enough there um, to take some of this off. Now I'm going to show you real quick how to get into the marbleization of, of uh, the thing. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take black. And I'm going to paint lines on it, just any old kind of squiggly way like this. I don't have any methodology to it, just every here and there, a few lines. Because, you know, marble has got like some unpredictable lines in it. And just do this all over the um, project. And... I'm doing it more quickly just to demonstrate. I'll probably go back and, and do it a little better later, but just to show you, to give you the general idea of you know how to how to carry this out. Okay. So I think that's probably pretty good for the black on there. So what I'm gonna do is take and you can use a fan brush or just any kind of like paint brush to you take the line and you just kind of go back and forth like this and if you could see up close you kind of smear it a little bit and, and that blends it in so that it's not as stark and it gives it a, a softer look okay and we'll just go around and do each black line like that real quick okay and we're getting there Now, at this point, what we want to do is go back and dab in between the black lines some of the streak marks because you don't want them to be really obvious. So you just kind of go back around those black lines and dab some more of the streak marks off like this so that it's not so smeared looking but yet muted. Okay. All right. So um, I'd like to take this time to thank everyone who subscribed to my channel and given me likes and followed me on Facebook and Instagram. And also, if you would like to check out my husband's um, channel called DogsRideForFree.com, um, he's got some great artwork on there. And I put some of my things, my completed projects on there, if anyone's interested. I don't have that many up there right now, but he has some great stuff up there. If you want to check that out, it'd be great. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel or liked it, I'd really appreciate it if you could do that. And 
If you want to be notified to my upcoming videos to see what my project's going to turn out to be because I'm working on a um, project for my kitchen and would like for everybody to guess what they think the project is. If you looked at my last video, I talked about this, the one on how to make eco bricks. Okay, so if you want to take a guess at the bottom, um, that would be great. And I'm going to go ahead and add some white lines. Now that I've done the black, I'm going to do a little bit of white. Same way I did the black, just here and there, right? And so I'll give you one hint. It's not a dining room table that I'm making. Um, it will have, I, I'll show you in a minute how far along I am on the project I'm working on. I have one completed, I guess you would say leg to the project. And then I have to make three more. Um, so I'll show you that in a second as soon as I put this white on here. Okay, so here's what I have done so far on the project. And so you can see it's kind of long, it's hard to show in the, in the camera. But if you look up close, it's, you know, marbleized look to it. And it takes a bit of time, but it's worth it since it, it does incorporate so much recycle. Okay, so now we're going to fan this white out just like we did the black. And you can let a little more of the white streak show if you want, because to me it gives it a more glazed, glassy look if you do that. And also, when the project's finished and the paint's dry, I go back over it with this gloss, this glossy Mod Podge, and it gives it a really nice, like, glassy, marbleized like finish it make it look polished so I mean some people might prefer it not to be as polished looking but I like I like that polished look on marble okay so as you can see it's a little more muted a little more smeared but we do want to go back and dab a little bit of it up like this just to kind of take some of that smear look off in almost completed with our um, marbleizing the bottom of this. Okay, so now we have the bottom marbleized. And what I did to the uh, other one you see completed here is I put the granite look that I have here on the bottom also here because my kitchen floor has the same marbleized look to it and I wanted to break it up because it's gonna be sitting against the floor so that it didn't blend in too much. But how I did that was I measured up an inch, and then I did the same thing I did here. I took the Mod Podge, the sand, and painted it. And I put, since this was already marbleized, I put tape and blocked it from getting any um, spray paint on it. Okay, so that's, that's how it's done. So thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed today's project and got value from it. And if anybody does attempt this or anything similar, I'd really love to see it and hear your thoughts about it. And thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day.